Here in New York, a sweeping vaccine mandate for municipal workers took effect tonight, while numerous other states are suing to block federal vaccine requirements. Our Gabe Gutierrez now has the latest. Late today, as New York City's COVID vaccine mandate for municipal workers kicked in, unions for the nation's largest fire department warned of the potential for closed firehouses and longer emergency response times. New York City is going to come to a crisis on Monday morning. Earlier today, the city said just 67% of its firefighters had received at least one dose. Those who don't get the shot face unpaid leave starting Monday. Tonight, six firefighters have been suspended for driving a ladder truck while on duty to a state senator's office and allegedly threatening the senator's staff over the COVID vaccine mandate. From coast to coast, more showdowns over shots. Los Angeles County Sheriff Alex Villanueva is calling his area's COVID vaccine mandate an imminent threat to public safety, saying it's causing a mass exodus within his department. Also in California, popular burger chain In-N-Out just shut down more restaurants rather than comply with mandates. I can see where they're coming from, that it's not their job to... As they put it, be vaccine police. Today, 10 states filed a new lawsuit against the Biden administration's vaccine requirement for federal contractors. Iowa's governor signed a new law allowing workers fired for noncompliance with COVID vaccine mandates to receive unemployment benefits. And next Tuesday, a new deadline for the Air Force. Up to 12,000 personnel have rejected orders to get fully vaccinated despite a Pentagon mandate. 